So I've cut my hand open, you can see, sliced it with a with a Stanley knife. So Hannah is now doing all the work. So we're just trying to get this pipe connected into, into the intake here. So I'm gonna help her with that because she's currently trying to do it on her own. And then we'll show you once it's connected up. Definite angulation issues. Yeah. Big time. Big time angulation issues. So Hannah is completely saving the day again, considering my hands all uh, all cut up. Yeah, it's all bleeding. No good. Stupid mistake. I just, just using a Stanley knife, sort of upside down and around the corner and cut my hand. But uh, so the pipes in. It's connected up, we've got water flowing down. Hannah's just put in lots of these big boulders around it to stabilise it. Then we're gonna go down there and put in the stand pipe. And then we've got to do a bit more winching of pipe backwards and forward to get some bits into place. But it's actually pretty close to working here. It's so cool. Okay, here is where the stand pipe is. So that pipe sticks up higher than where the intake is so you know about six foot or so and that's going to let any air out of the system as the system is filling you see we've got quite a volume of water coming out there already big rocks going to hold it all in place nicely but we need to get that pipe a bit straighter yet Oop, falling over because it's sitting at the wrong angle we got to winch the other pipe back up to here now Good, so now we've got to check we can still get it in up there because we might still have to pull it again. So I'm a little bit short, so I've got one end of the pipe here and the other end is just there. So I'm a little bit short, which is quite frustrating, but I knew it was going to be close. I measured it with a rope that I knew the length of the rope and I knew I was going to be close, but well, I'm less than 5% out, so I was, I was pretty close, but so I'm gonna. Oh, sorry about that. I'm gonna have to uh, have to get a section to put in the middle and another couple of joiners. So I'm gonna measure that and go and order them now, and then uh, we'll be pretty close there. I'm just trying to get this uh, this end here connected up. This is the turbine end. There's no there's no uh, water coming through yet because it's not connected in the middle. We get this one connected up first. Is the plan? Yep, should just about go. A little bit of. Uh, Jiggery pokery. the uh, powerhouse one joint up that was a right struggle because it's got a curve to it round up there so I've only got one uh, two more joints to make and uh, and then we we'll start filling the pipe which will probably hold about a thousand litres of water so that'll take about 10 minutes to fill up anyway so I'm going to uh, make those other connections it's just started raining and it's getting late in the day so 
I'm going to make those other two connections on film and I think I don't think we're going to get it started today though unfortunately. So we'll have to come back to it tomorrow. Right, so we're joined up. I think that is enough for today because it's getting dark now and the state of me just all, it looks worse than it is, it's just a little thorn stab. Uh, so I'm just gonna, yeah, call it a day. Tomorrow should be able to get this turned on. So I had to pull this with so much force to, because uh, the pipe was full of water as well and going around bends and stuff, uh, ripped me rope in, well, the cover off the rope anyway, so I've only lost. Uh, couple of meters off it but I got it it's ready so I'm just gonna slide that in there and then we'll have full uh, full system pressure then okay let's give this another go healing up well it wasn't too bad but it was quite deep the, the tip of the blade went all the way in and that flap lifted up it wouldn't stop bleeding but see it's not that bad it's just it went right down through yeah it's healing up now I could do without getting it wet but it's got a scab over it and it's alright and I clean it at the end of the day so all right so that's joined I need to tighten that up we've now got quite a bit of overflow at the standpipe so I need to put the standpipe on there and then that pressure will rise up, you know, up the standpipe like there somewhere. And that's where all the air comes out of the system. So get that tightened up and fit the standpipe and then we're going to see what pressure's Okay, let's get the standpipe in. We're going to clear the screen the pressure. We'll mind it coming up through the trees because it camouflages it a little bit. screen on the top of it. That's no not an issue right now. So there's that. Put a screen on top of there. I might even cut it down a little bit more yet but that is where the air comes out. So I'll get that tightened up we'll go down to the powerhouse see what okay so if you remember in the uh, in the very first video of doing the measurements I said we'll have 24 psi well I've actually got 26. If you remember I said I was being quite conservative with my measurements so it was actually incredibly accurate. I mean, to the point of where if I'd have taken the measurements and not been conservative with them and jotted them down identical to what they were, I probably would have been within about two or 300 millimeters over 200 meters. So 
my water level was really very, 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 very accurate, and I'm very proud of that. Um, so we've now got 26 psi standing. That's without water moving through the system, which will go down as the, as I open the valve because of loss of uh, loss of efficiency in pipe loss friction. So now the moment I'm going to turn this on, it is hooked up to power. I'm going to turn this on. You'll hear it spinning up. Um, you'll hear it spin fast, and then you'll hear the load come onto it. You'll hear the change of uh, the sound as it as it starts applying the load, and then uh, you know, I'm afraid I'm I'm going to have to do it to you. You're not going to see how much power it produces yet in this video. I haven't got the right charge controller and stuff, so. Um, we're gonna we're gonna wait one more video to get the power calculations, but in this video you can see it we can see a load go onto it. So you ready? Here it comes. There we go. Listen out for that change of noise. There it is. There's a big load on that now. I won't give the game away, but I can tell you it's about at least 300 watts on that. And look at the head loss. Almost nothing. Very proud. So, stay tuned for the next video, where I'm going to do final wiring and, uh, and uh, power output calculations and possible small efficiency improvements. So I hope that was everything uh, that you enjoyed it and I hope it was informative. So yeah, let's uh, look forward to doing the, uh, the final power calculations and then there'll be a few videos after that doing improvements and finishing off the powerhouse. But yeah, we've got power. How cool is that?